All right, welcome back to Sports Wrap, everybody, with Mark McMillan. Hey, we're talking some Evil Pie Pizza here in just a little bit. You've got a special charity thing that we're going to be talking about with the food and the wings and all that sort of stuff. First things first, Super Bowl. Two teams very near and dear to your heart. Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles. You're drafted by the Eagles. Played often with the Kansas City Chiefs for years. I got to ask you, first of all, are you biased? <laughs> Do you have a favorite of the two? Um, what, what, where are you leaning? Where are you leaning? Not on who you think is going to win. Who would you like to see well, win? Well, my heart has always been in Philadelphia because they drafted me first, obviously being there for four years. So there were 32, 31 other teams that passed on me. What? And Kansas City was one of them. So it <laughs> took me a while to get to Kansas City. But, you know, I like what Philadelphia has been doing over the last couple of years. Uh, they're playing strong. They're looking good. The number one seed. But the Kansas City Chiefs also playing good as well when you have – MVP candidate Patrick Mahomes. You got to be in heaven, though. I know you're going down to <laughs> Arizona for the Super Bowl, and so you're going to be a part of a lot of the activities there with both of your teams. Both of your teams yeah. in the Super Bowl got to make you feel good, yeah, doesn't it? It's like a dream come true. You couldn't script this any better. You know, from the beginning of the season, you're thinking like, okay, the Eagles can they turn the corner with Jalen? Uh, obviously, you know the 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 Kansas City Chiefs are always going to be in the hunt. But then it started getting real serious, and the Chiefs kept winning, and the Eagles kept winning, and now we have a clash of two of my favorite teams, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, pick a winner now. Let's go here. What do you think? Um, Eagles are two-point favorites in the game at last check, but still your thoughts on Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes. You cannot – can you get a better quarterback matchup? I don't know. Uh, no, really no. It's hard to come up with a better one yeah, you than got, that. You, Two great young quarterbacks. And one of them is probably going to win the MVP. So, you know, when you talk about the matchups on both sides of the ball, you know, Kansas City can move the ball up and down the field. Um, their defense has gotten a lot better during the playoffs. Uh, you know, they have a couple of injuries on offense. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs still has Patrick Mahomes. So you got to take that in consideration. But what the Philadelphia Eagles have been doing since the return of Jalen Hurts being hurt a little bit, they just breeze through the playoffs. They just made San Francisco look like a treat. It wasn't even <laughs> close. <laughs> Jalen Hurts has just been phenomenal to see what he's done. And you look at the, um, the NFC East, used to be NFC Least not yeah, long yeah. ago, <laughs> and they've turned into a very good division in the NFL where, where they've gone, which shows how quickly things can turn around. Yeah in the NFL with that division and how really how bad they, they were a joke for a long it time. It was really bad. <laughs> it was it was really bad. But now you got Dallas going into the playoffs. Yeah. Washington looked good doing some things. The Giants yeah. were there. Um, you know with Daniel Jones or what what he's going to do in the offseason but Jalen Hurts and Philadelphia leading the way certainly has been interesting to see that turnaround of that division and it seemed like it happened overnight you yeah. know because the last couple of years it's been the the worst division in football and you know back in the day it was the Eagles it was the Cowboys it was the Redskins winning the Super Bowls uh, obviously you had the 49ers winning championships and now they're back in the fold even the Giants got back in the fold and got into the playoffs okay this week what are you going to be doing down there in uh, in Arizona for the Super Bowl. You got your schedule all mapped oh, out and yeah. what you're going to be doing? You're going to be busy. I got my schedule uh, all mapped up. I actually had to hire a PR, Joe Lynn, so <laughs> she's handling a lot of my appearances and businesses. But Wait a minute. Are you getting too big for us here? Are I'm you never too big. Okay. I'm never, you always can call <laughs> me goodness. or text me and let <laughs> me know, like, hey, I need some food or come on into the studio. But there's going to be a lot of uh, exciting things uh, that's going to be going on in the uh, Arizona area. I still have a home there, so me and my family are excited to get back and just get in the fold and seeing some of the old guys. And I Obviously, root on the Eagles and the Chiefs, so I'm excited. There might be some parties down there. I've heard around Super Bowl weekend that things happen a little bit down there, it's too. Gonna be, be it's going to be some nice parties. I know I just got invited to uh, do an appearance with Eric Allen, who's one of my oh, uh, Eagles yes. teammates, along with Byron Evans. Uh, so we'll be in Scottsdale hanging out, you know, hmm. just partying a little bit, hanging out with the fans. And I'm sure the Kansas City fans are probably going to be like, hey, we need you to come over here and hang out, too. So we'll and, see how that plays out. And some good food down there. Okay, which brings us to this here with the, with the Evil Pie. Oh. here you've got a special promotion going on have about a minute left here with with evil pie downtown las vegas fremont street and las vegas boulevard for charity Tell yeah us about we, it. we came up with this uh obviously uh, chef steve over at uh, evil pie you know we came up with a concept to be like how can we give back to our community um but me being here full time now i want to be able to give back so we have a grilla mcmillan chicken margarita pie what yes well, we gotta see it the here Hold grilla on. mcmillan chicken Don't margarita pie right there and it's got my own infused olive oils that's on there top as well 
you got the mesquite and you got a little drizzle of the lemon. So the proceeds go back to the Nathan Adelson Hospice Care Center here. So every slice that's sold, they donate a dollar back to the Nathan Adelson Hospice Care Center. And then we're going to do a big check presentation at the end of February. So make sure you go on down to Evil Pie and get that Grilla there McMillan Margarita Pizza. Bless you. A great cause, certainly, the hospice, Nathan Adelson Hospice. Been here in town forever doing some great work, certainly, in our community that's needed to be done. So, uh, and, your, and your olive oil, okay, is part of it. So, very good. You gotta have the olive oils, man. Okay. They're, and they're available online, too. GrillaMcMillan.com. You can get Super those. Super Bowl. <laughs> I'll be down there, too, on that. So, we'll find a good place to go get some barbecue, have some fun, get them some good food, okay? There we go. You show me where to go. I got you. I got me, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with more Sports Wrap right after this.